Today I have this 2018 Ferrander Cascadia 126 and today I'm going to show you how to program the dashboard gauges. In this case this Ferrander Cascadia doesn't have the many gauges in the dashboard and what I mean is this. The only gauge you get is this one, the oil temperature gauge. There is no other gauge on this dashboard and if you scroll down there is no other option but those just that gauge and today i'm going to show you how to program to get more gauges and uh, that can be only done with the ddl software so that's what we are going to do in this case the ddl software is already connected with the usb link and you can use any type of interface to connect as long as it connects directly and so if you get just a regular DDL software, you won't be able to communicate with these modules. But if you have a very advanced DDL software, you are going to be able to program these uh, modules. So for that, we're gonna go all the way over here to parameters. Once we're gonna in parameters, we're gonna get the list of all the uh, modules we can program. In this case, for the dashboard module right there, we are going to go to the ICU, which is this one right here. On the ICU, we are going to click open and we are going to scroll all the way down until we get to this one right here, if I am correctly. So we click on this one and we are going to go down to look for extra gauges. The only problem when you are looking for extra gauges is then these gauges are only going to work if they already pre-wired to the system. If the gauges are not pre-wired, you are not going to be able to do anything. In this case, the gauges then are already pre-wired to the system usually are the turbo pressure, engine temperature, and uh, engine oil temperature and uh, transmission oil temperature. So we are going to look for those. Okay, so we are going to look for, let me see, transmission. Okay, right here, see, transmission oil temperature. And we are going to hit available, click on it. Uh, this is the temperature, how you want it to show. In this case, we're using Fahrenheit and we are going to look for engine temperature is right here and boost pressure let's see what is boost pressure we have this one right here so let's go let's look for boost pressure which is going to be let's see uh, right here see turbo boost pressure right here and we click all right so once we do that, we are going to send the information. And once we click send, um, this box is going to appear saying what we, uh, the, the summary of what we just did. And we're gonna hit okay. And when we hit okay, you are going to see in the dashboard is going to go blank. See, but that is normal. It's because the dashboard is going to a reset process and uh, that's, uh, that's about it. It's gonna go back to normal after it's done and uh, the parameters were completely written in the device, which is the ICU. Now we just have to look for the readings and we have to select them now. So see, it still don't appear here, but what we have to do is to look for them so we go here settings and custom gauges okay this one right here okay transmission temperature that's what we had now oh sorry okay 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 and boost pressure see we hit okay and now we go back to the truck right here and we got the readings now and that is how you get these measurements but the point is to show you how to do it um, 
uh, now you can get the idea on how you slide to uh, get the information on your uh, on your on your dashboard so you get extra information in case your dashboard doesn't have any information i have other videos showing you other parameters you can modify too so you can check my other video if you want to see that but for the moment this is all i have and uh, i try to see you i try to walk you on how to do it and everything so if you have any questions just comment below or you can contact me on instagram uh, like francisco maya youtube just look francisco maya youtube uh, share the video like it subscribe to the channel and uh thank you for watching